What if we made a dog who's peeing against a lamppost? And there's a lot of lampposts. But they're different heights, face different directions, and it's all made of wood. Oh, one of the lampposts lights up. So let's begin. Grab a lamppost from the library. And a dog. You can have one peeing already. Need to make the pee stream level. Get rid of this puddle. Add a peg to the bottom of the lamppost and remind myself what a centimeter looks like. Make peg longer, more stable. Let's copy that. Make you shorter. Copy him. Up, 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 you go. And another. Make you taller. One more. You'll be small. Okay, last one. Save. Oh, make a circle for the base. Add some holes into the base so the post can slot into them. Open up Easel, the program that controls the CNC machine to cut the wood. Import all the graphics. The base can be on 18 mil wood and the posts and dog on 9mm. Let's get some wood. Here we go. Straight enough. And where's the 18mm sheet? The studio. It's a shed. Laptop. We'll plug into the CNC machine. Get this USB in. First time. Sawdust everywhere, always. Check the dimensions of what we need. You. That's one. And that's the second. Stick a scrap sheet down first, and then our actual material for cutting down on top of it. You'll see why in a moment. Hold down clamps. Right, these are screws that screw down into these threaded holes and hold the material in place. Get this one started by hand and then the drill speeds things up. Let's get cutting. Yep, material is measured and clamped. The one it through a bit is already in. Ah, the probe. It's this. This bit plugs in first. Next is a clamp for the metal contact, which goes on the router collet. Hit start. Root a bit touches the sensor and now knows the exact thickness of the material. Okay, set the XY starting point, which is the bottom left corner. Yeah, that'll do. Vacuum system. This slots in here. There's the chute. Attach the vacuum holder arms to the carriage on either side. Slot the shoe in, set the height and tighten the arms. Hook it all up to the shop vac. The shoe sucks all the sawdust up, over, around and down into the shop vac. Let's go. Using motor step along the X, Y and Z axis, this route uh, cuts out the specified design rather well. And out pops our base. Sort this dust out. Oddly satisfying. So here's the off cut. And the waste board underneath has the outline of the circular base right here. And the main board is unscathed. Okay, post and dock now. Get the 1 8 bit off. The shambolic root of bit draw. Here we go. Let's put this one away and grab this little beauty. As you can see, this one's a lot finer. In you go. At half the diameter of the previous bit, I set the machine to cut in shallower passes. Otherwise, the delicate bit might break. Dog is done. May as well grab that. 240. No, 120. 120. 240. No, 120. Sand the edges a little. Excellent. It stands level. Let's take a look at a lamp post. Looks good. Ah, slight hiccup there, but it's just a test. Get the fuzz off. And into the slot you go. Uh, okay. Maybe this way? Nope. Hmm. Maybe it needs a filing. Just soften those corners a little. And yep, that's better. Nice and flush. More posts. You can go there. Okay, good start. My lamp posts are pretty snug. Feels good. No need for glue. Okay, maybe a little glue. Let's do some tweaking. The trusty 30 centimeter. This could do with a couple more lampposts. How does this look here? 
Maybe this way? Or maybe this one here? Or even this one? This way. This way. Okay, yeah, this way. Let's see how it looks with our light source. Okay. Those shadows look so good. Yeah, this is a nice spread. Maybe just get rid of this one. Let's get everything marked down. Lamppost location is done. Revise the base with some new holes. Okay, looks good. Let's just check it with the light again. Yeah, this looks great. Onto the electronics. Grab a soldering kit. Selection of LEDs. A resistor pack. Wire. Battery holder. Let's see how much I remember from GCSE electronics. That is a lot of resistors. Yellow LEDs, maybe. Some white ones too. LED, resistor, calculator. Okay. 270 ohms. Hook this bad boy up. Well, this one lights up, but it's a bit dim. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's my shit. That's the one. Time to design the LED and wire housing within the light-up lamppost. Grab some LED dimensions. The yellow box is the ball part. Create a channel so the light can shine downwards. Need some space for the LED's legs. And a channel down through the post for the wiring. Then we can get the CNC to cut the two halves of the whole lamppost, complete with internal housing, which we can then glue back together. The posts are 9mm thick, so I've set the CNC to mill away the first 4.5mm top part of the MDF. Then it cuts the inside channels. Is this even going to work? Well, at least the two halves sit together well. Let's smooth these out a little bit. Hole in the bottom looks decent. Does this fit? Yes! Nice! Okay. Wiring. Measure some wire out. A solder fume's toxic. Okay, do you fit? Easy now. In you go. Just gonna take the two halves together for now. I mean, it smells toxic. Moment of truth. Hey, that's perfect. Love it. Even better in the base. Man, that looks great. Look at him. Switches, switches, switches. So many switches. Okay, let's take a look. You're a chunky boy. Ah, okay. So this switch only stays on whilst held down. Clearly didn't read the description closely enough. A metal switch. Feels great. Satisfying click, but a bit big. Here, let's look at it beside the piece. Big. Feels great though. I feel like Goldilocks. This switch is so tiny. Yeah, this one is perfect, but just need to find a smaller version. Battery holder. Pretty standard. Works just fine. On, off, on, off, on, off. Yeah, this looks like a better size. That'll do. Time to fit this all into the base. Battery holder is thicker than the 18mm base, but we're going to add a cover anyway. Oh yeah, here's a smaller toggle switch. Let's mock it up in Adobe Illustrator. And all the other tedious measuring involved. But here we go. Here's a switch poking out the side of the base. The pink circle is a channel for the wire joining all the components up. And on the path of that pink circle is the battery holder area. Then this square with white outline is the post that lights up also situated on the pink circle for easy wiring. And then we have the cover on the left here, which has the three blue holes to allow a screw through into the main base. That's the cover made. Grab some screws. This goes through really like that, and this threaded insert will be in the main base, so everything can be screwed and unscrewed without degrading the wood. And that's the main base cut. Get the threaded inserts in. Let's see if it all fits. Probably spray paint the edge and bottom of the base with some black. Storage spot for the dog, since he's not fixed in like the post. And this battery pack fits in like this. Need a hole for the switch. And if all that measuring was correct, then this should fit like a glove. Yeah. And this nut, which came with the switch, will stop the switch from being pushed back inside. Yes, I know, I need some wrenches. No wiggle, perfect. Okay, let's wire it up for real. Let's have a little sense of drama and turn these lights off. Perfect. Add some gaps for the fingers around the battery compartment. And to help spray the stencil designs onto the posts and dog, I'll cut this template out of wood. 
first. Cut the new base. And the lamppost holder. Right, let's see if this works. Yeah, fits snugly enough to hold the lamppost in place whilst it's stenciled. And not too difficult to pop out either. And the dog doesn't fit. Okay. Huh. Uh, let's cut another one with a larger tolerance then. Yeah, that's better. Time to glue the LED post together. On you go. Make sure both sides are flush. Clamp, 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 clamp. Should have clamped that in a more stable way, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, what are these? They hold the post for easier base coat spraying. Let's get some white going. LED post is dried now. Does the LED still work? Nice. Sand that gluey seam. Get this into a base too. So this is the stencil design. Printed on glass tape. One stencil for the front and one for the back. But what to paint on the base? Maybe double yellow lines? Like that? Uh, might clash with the yellow pea puddle. Pavement slabs. Let's tile these out. Yeah, simple but effective. Print this one out too. Ta-da! Okay, ready to do some spraying. Okay, let's pick some colors. Maybe you. 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 Let that dry. Lid. Perfect. Some more coats for the lampposts. And dog. Spray adhesive for the pavement stencil. Get that fixed down. Looks great. Now, let's work out that pee bottle. Print this out and see how it looks with the dog on it. Yeah, not the most taxing stencil. Eldorado yellow is the best yellow. Perfect. Right, let's do some dog masking to spray the yellow stream. Get it in the nooks and crannies. So much tape for such a small job. Came out clean though. Maybe a little touch up. Spray that black edge onto the main base. There we go. Nice. It's time to look like something. Another sanding. Another coat. Clean the base of specs. Give it a varnish. Grab you lot. Okay, good. It still fits after the multiple coats of paint. Yeah, this should work. Get you down. Do the reverse side now. Work the treat. What? Well, out you come. More varnishing. Forgot to spray the LED posts. Ah, uh, ah, ha. It doesn't fit because of the wires. Maybe a hole in the edge? Uh, hup. Yeah, that's better. Nice. So. I can see a thin line of unpainted MDF where these two parts meet right here. But if I cut this circular mask, lay it on the inside, spray the rim black, and do the same for the other half. Yeah, see, it's gone now. Hold for the switch. Okay, so before varnishing the inside, I want to, is this hot yet? Uh, nearly. But yeah, I want to get this wood branding done. Just give this a uh, test and yeah, that's ready. Don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. Nice, that'll do. There we go. Time to do some measuring because I want there to be some pee on the lamppost itself and want it to match up the puddle on the ground. That should do. Back to the studio. On you go. Gentle. Uh, 
Yeah? Yeah. 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 Let's see how this all looks. Get this battery holder in. Using hot glue here because there's not enough depth for screws. Get the threaded inserts in too. Solder in time. Keep forgetting to check whether solder is toxic. Focus. Last connection. Slot the switch in. Get the lid on. Tighten the switch nut. And done. <laughs>